snowpack tour. Did you hear that? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so here we are in the car and we got our bell pack. Before there used to be a lot more coupons than there are now, but slowly as the years went on, it's gotten thinner and thinner. And not as many food coupons come in the foul pack anymore. But today we're gonna see what's in here and we're going to go to every food place that is in this foul pack. So let's open this. Typically you'll find like house stuff in here now, like windows, you know, yard service. Not really food things anymore, but oh look, you could win $500. Follow Val Pack on Facebook. Maybe you can win $500. But anyway, first coupon that comes out of here. Typically you see this pretty much every time. So I was kind of expecting this. So we'll stop off at Gyotaku today. Oh, this is Butcher and Bird. A dollar off their famous handmade sausage combo. They're in salt kakaako. In salt kakaako, yeah. Okay, and then we got some Wilson Home Care. Let's see what other kind of goodies are in Ooh. here. Oh, <laughs> I don't think we need that. <laughs> Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because Chris and I usually kind of go to the same places all the time. We get complacent. We'll see what new things are in here and maybe we'll try something new today. Home chef. I guess they want us to stay home. Ah, there's a Sam's, Sam's Club. Club. This is the last one. I think you can get a day pass from Sam's Club when you yeah. go in, but I don't think that counts. So we got two places we're going to go try today. Not much. But don't write these this coupons off because sometimes there's some pretty good stuff in here so mm -hmm. we're gonna go and check these out all right so let's go butcher and bird first because he and i has never been there before so we figured we'll give it a try and it was so windy oh my god right now oahu's having these super high winds like gusts like it was literally blowing things over and it was it was like you couldn't even sit you would fall over <laughs> it was really bad so we decided to take it to go and eat it in the car the coupon said a dollar off their sausage combo which is like a, one of their sausages and i guess a side of pickles and chips mm -hmm. so we decided to get the beef kielbasa mm -hmm. which has the his favorite the sauerkraut and the mustard seed on top yeah, kind of like a corned beef sandwich yeah. but in a sausage form here we go look at this oh Ooh. it's so big it's like a tight curled up <laughs> yeah it's like a huge sausage in this yeah. i mean this is a basic um hot dog bun you can get from the mm -hmm. store but look at that sausage just so nice and crisp looking and all that mustard seed and sauerkraut on the top super excited to try this it smells really good i'm thinking this is something that he will enjoy very much so. all right i don't know how we're gonna do that i think we're just gonna have to do it at the same time not like you can break it in half so itadakimasu Mm. Bring it off. <laughs> wow. It's very flavorful. Mm. Very juicy. Mm. Did you hear that crispy crunch? Yeah. That snap mm -hmm. of the sausage? Oh my god. Wow. I could probably eat that sausage by itself. Yeah. It really doesn't need anything else. Mm. Like you could just eat the sausage and it's so good. Oh my gosh. Why wow. haven't we tried this place before? So Cause good. It's, maybe because it's upstairs. I don't know. That's the thing. We always go for the safe things when and the we same try things. different places and new things and that's our one challenge for this year i think yeah. we want to try all new places because we always go to the same places and apparently this place is actually known for their burgers they've been four years in a row winners for the best burgers so oh. next time we go we're gonna have to try their burgers because burger. if their burgers are as good as the sausage it's all good so you want to try it with all the with all the toppings I even get there it's i know so this big. Let's just try it. Oh, it's good. You know, it adds a little flair to the sausage. A little bit of that bite makes it a lot better. With all the toppings. I like it with it. You don't need it, but 
definitely it's a nice combination of that sourness the pickle in it the salty mm -hmm. it's very juicy sausage i like it that's good <laughs> you would eat it again right yeah. this is 15 dollars. so it was like 15 dollars. we got a dollar off so it's 14 dollars. i mean it's not no costco hot dog it's a lot more flavorful mm. a lot more crunchier it is good with all mm -hmm. the toppings on top yeah mm. that sauerkraut and mustard seed really give it that nice extra something mm -hmm. that's not just all salty but this is a really flavorful hot dog it's not a hot dog i hate to call it a hot dog because it's it looks like a hot dog but it's no hot dog yeah. it's no costco hot it's dog not no cheap hot dog no it's, this um, is this is good good stuff mm -hmm. here i do recommend that's you awesome if you're in salt kakaako area go upstairs check them out very worth it they're not the cheapest but their stuff is good quality definitely going back Mm -hmm. and it may seem like such a simple thing to eat like why would i want to waste my stomach space on like a sausage but you're not wasting space this is really good and the meal comes with potato chips and some pickles it tastes like they make their own pickles it's not just pickles they have it's, something yeah on there's it. other flavors in there it, it tastes yeah, like a really cucumber right. more than the kind from the bo the, the, the jar. jar it feels a lot more fresher mm. that's really good it has like a nice a sweet sour taste to it that pickle's really good i would i would eat that it's like a relish yeah it doesn't taste like your regular pickle mm -hmm. it's really good i'll take care of this <laughs> mm. I don't think you should take care of it in one bite. See, that's the good thing about the Valpat coupons or just getting any coupon in general because it makes you try places that you wouldn't normally try. And it also makes it worth it for the companies that participate in those to spend the money to be in a Valpac like that. Because it ain't free. At least I don't think. I don't think it's free. Definitely. If you got your Valpac, grab one, head down to Butcher and Bird. Totally worth it. And now we're going to hit the next place on our Valpac coupon journey, which is Gyotaku. One of my favorite Japanese places to go to. So here we go. But before that, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mara and I like to make food and travel content along with my husband, Chris, and sometimes you'll see my three little Zillas. If you like our content, please hit the like button so we know to keep making more like it. And also we'd love it if you consider subscribing so you can join the family and stay up to date with our latest destinations for sweet eats. I love coming here. There's always something for everyone here from tonkatsu to sushi. And you know, people may say that Gyotaku is not like the best place, but I like it. I like the food here. It's always a good time at Gyotaku. We're gonna start our farm meal with some miso soup. Itadakimasu. Chris ordered the shrimp tempura. Mm. So you got four pieces of tempura. We got some eggplant and string beans, right? Yep, right here. I think this is a potato. Oh, okay. Like a sweet potato. Yeah. Crispy and good, huh? Actually, not too much better. Well, that's good. Because sometimes they put too much, yeah? yeah. Normally I order the butterfish, but today I decided to get something different, which is not too different. <laughs> I got the misoyaki salmon, which is basically the same sauce they put on the butterfish, but with the salmon. This is quite a big piece too, so decided to get salmon today. Very good. I would say it's slightly overcooked. I like my fish a little bit more on the rare side, but still really good and I decided to get brown rice today because 
I just felt like it. So anyway, we're going to finish up our lunch and then we'll redeem our 50% off coupon. <laughs> Okay, we did it. Foul pack, if you're listening, which you're probably not. Add more food places in here so we can try more new places. Because as great as Gyotaku is, I love their food there. But, you know, we've been there before. So mm -hmm. I like the fact that when we went to Butcher and Bird, it was something new for us. And we will definitely be back again. Thanks for coming along with us. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <gasps> it was absolutely no parking. <laughs> and as they say, it's about the journey, not the destination.